there has been a concern about the increase in pneumonias being reported from china and uh, some reports suggest that this is also what is known as walking pneumonia so the first issue is what is walking pneumonia walking pneumonia is usually a layman's term called because which is reflects a pneumonia caused by a bacteria known as mycoplasma pneumoniae which is an atypical infection the reason why it was called walking pneumonia was that a person has pneumonia but is not that sick and is walking around but the x-ray shows features of pneumonia and he has uh, a lung infection normally with pneumonia you are in the hospital and you are much more sick so because you are walking around it was known as walking pneumonia it is caused by atypical pathogen or mycoplasma and what we are seeing in china is that despite the fact that it is a mild pneumonia there are patients especially children and young adults being admitted in hospital that is possibly because of the fact that the commonly used antibiotics which are known as macrolides what many people used in covid also as erythromycin are not that effective or have developed resist they are, are now becoming uh, not sensitive and the bacteria has become resistant to these antibiotics and therefore it is leading to some degree of hospitalization so i think there are two important things that we need to keep in mind first is that during the change of weather or during the winter months respiratory viral infections whether it be covid influenza or atypical pneumonias tend to become more common and that is why we need to be careful they become more common in extremes of age children and the elderly in children because of the fact that they go to school they mix with each other and they get the infection easily and it is an infectious disease the elderly have low immunity and children bring the infection to their house and they uh, inadvertently uh, infect the older age group uh, people who can have more severe infection firstly i think we need to be vigilant and therefore we need to have good surveillance the government of india and various states have already started a very active surveillance program to look out for any surge in hospitalization or in or clusters of uh, children adults or elderly coming with uh, pneumonia or respiratory infection which may uh, be a red flag for an increase in infections in our country at the same time as responsible citizens i think we have to follow appropriate behavior which would be wearing your mask if uh, when you go out regular hand washing uh covering your cough if you have cough uh cough into your armpit or use a hand tissue and then throw away the tissue so that you don't spread the infection in the air or in the environment especially if you're in a closed room also the other important thing is that if someone has fever cough and cold he should stay at home children should especially stay at home they should not be sent to the school because they can then spread the infection to other children in the school so in uh children or adults who have fever cough and cold and who are infectious for at least 4 to 5 days should stay at home regularly wash your hands uh wear a mask and cover your cough in terms of good cough etiquette these are important things that we need to do to protect ourselves and our near and dear ones from getting uh the viral infection that we see more during this time of the year that could also it would also protect us from any new emerging infections which we may see uh, which could be linked to the outbreak that is happening in china